Hi, Leah from my sewing room here. Today we're gonna to be talking about mirror imaging on a Bernina 590 and using the pattern repeat functions. This is out of the Bernina new owner's workbook, uh, which you can get from us along with a kit. Uh, it suggests using an open toe embroidery foot, which will make it just a little bit easier to see um, what we're sewing. And there's three versions of this foot. There's the number 20, 20C and 20D. The 590 comes with a 20C which has a nine millimeter opening. And that's what that C on the foot means. It will have a nine millimeter opening. The 20D is available for purchase, also has a nine millimeter opening, but has this gap in the back for the dual feed arm to come down. And a number 20 is the narrow 5.5 millimeter foot available on most smaller Berninas. So I'm gonna release the dual feed and take that one D foot off and put my one 20 C foot on. This is just going to give me better visibility as I'm stitching these decorative stitches. Um, we're going to be looking for these two stitches in particular. And I know that this first one um, on the five series is stitch 1309. So there's two ways of finding that. You can either type 1309 in the search window and your stitch will pop up or you can navigate to find it in the quilt block folder. Both ways will get you there, whichever way works better for you. This is a great little blanket stitch. I'm just going to leave it at its default settings for now. And we'll stitch a little bit. For lots of things that you might sew, the blanket stitch with the little arms pointing to the left might be the easiest way to navigate what you're doing. However, some days it might be easier to work through your project with your little arms pointing the other direction. To get into the settings for this stitch, you can go to the eye for information on screen. And then you have all sorts of other functions you can use. I'm going to use the mirror left right function to mirror that stitch so it stitches with the little arms facing the other way. Now, so in the both, same direction both times, I've got mirror image stitches. The next option is to go find our little triangle stitch. Right there. I'm going to find this going through the folder. So it's a decorative stitch. And it's in the satin stitch type stitches folder. It's actually stitch 401 on this machine. So in the next setup on this exercise, we're going to use two types of mirroring as well as the pattern repeat function. On the design here, our triangles go pointing down for a repeat of four and then pointing up for a repeat of four. So we're going to use the pattern repeat function, which is found in the eye for information menu. Your pattern repeat, when you come into it and it's not set to do anything in particular, it'll just show a little bit, a little X in there. So you can tell it how many you want to do. I'd like to do four repeats. And those are going to be pointing down to start. So the nice thing about setting up to do pattern repeats this way is that you'll get exactly the number you want without having one stitch extra and it counts down on screen as you go. So when you're on your last one, it'll say one. And then it will stop. And it still shows a pattern repeat of four. We can navigate backwards through the breadcrumbs, back to the eye for information. And I'd like my next four to be mirrored uh, vertically. There we go. So now it flips them on screen and we can go off and do another four repeats. So you've taken a basic pattern and made it a whole lot more interesting by just mirroring it part way through.
It stops at the end of four, and we can turn that repeat back off by selecting it again. I'm going to turn it back on again. ends right at the end. Pretty fun! 